going on everybody out there on YouTube land? Your boy Dasha J back up in it with another upload. If you are new here, please go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys are returning, go ahead and leave a comment. And I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Today we are on the subject. I Actually, I know it's been a while since I have um, made a video. It's been about a week. And I have been very busy door dashing, very busy working, getting things situated. I told you guys that I just had to move um, because of what I went through at my old apartment complex. If you guys don't know and you're new here, I had my, um, I was terminated from my old apartment complex. They didn't want to renew my lease. And so I had to end up finding a new place to live. Um, I was on the brink of being homeless with my family. <clears throat> But luckily, due to the grace of the Lord, someone has come through and has helped me out. They're letting me stay in their garage until I can find a new place to live. I just went and started a GoFundMe um, for my teeth. Um, I'm trying to get my teeth fixed as soon as possible. It's one of the main things that I worry about every single day when I wake up are my teeth. I am a person that prides myself very much on my looks and um, trying to stay healthy as much as possible. And now that I'm getting older, I'm trying to make changes for the better in that route, in that direction. Um, and one of the main things that I need to get fixed are my teeth. If you guys um, want to, go ahead and hit up the GoFundMe. It is Justin's Dental Procedure. If you guys have anything in your heart, go ahead and drop a comment. Drop, uh, you know, your prayers, your wishes. Anything helps. I thank you so much. Anyway, so today we are going to get to the DoorDash here. Today we are talking um, about um, schedule. So today we're talking about schedule. Schedule on DoorDash is freaking ridiculous. So... I am not quite sure how the schedule works. I haven't gotten the schedule quite down. I actually want to have you guys try and um, go down to the comments and tell me how the schedule works. Tell me what's up with it. Tell me how your schedule works. What hours do you like working? Um, do you guys like working the late night? Do you like working the early shifts? Um, schedule is something else. Um, so I have not been able to get continuously on the schedule now for about two weeks. Um, most of my hours that I've been clocking in, um, I've just been lucky to get on. In my area, door dashing is so oversaturated now. Everybody thinks they can do it. Everybody wants to become a door dasher. And door dash, you guys really need to start changing up your policy because you guys are literally letting anybody become door dashers and that's why you're running into the problems that you're pro running into um people eating other people's food people stealing packages off of people's porches um those aren't the types of people you want working for you so you guys need to up your standards and who can become a door dasher um i take pride in door dashing and i don't multi-app so i think i should be a top dasher and be able to get guaranteed hours um, guaranteed scheduled hours. Um, all my ratings are good. I just cannot get on the schedule. Every time I go to get on the schedule, there's nothing there. Like right now, I'm sitting in a parking lot because I cannot get on the schedule. There's nothing there. It says there are no time slots available, blah, 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 blah. Um, so now I'm just sitting here missing on an hours when I should be making money. But... There are people that aren't full-time door dashers that are probably just doing this in their spare time that actually don't really need the money the way I need it because DoorDash is my full-time job, and they're getting the hours instead of me. So if you guys know any way around that, if you guys know the best way to get onto the schedule and get some hours put in, please go down in the comments. Please leave your comment. Please drop a comment. I'm just waiting for somebody to drop a comment so I can reply. I want to start a conversation. I want to get more involved in this community and bring us together as a whole. We are door dashers as a whole and we are a team that needs to work together. The schedule, um, I usually work peak, well I try to at least, I usually work peak breakfast 
which is from 9 to 10 or 8 to 10 30. I usually work peak lunch, which is 11 30 to 2, and I usually work peak dinner, which is 4 30 to 8. Now, lately, like I said, I have not been able to get on the schedule and get those hours, but even though I have not been able to get on the schedule and get those hours, I have still found ways to work a 39-hour week last week, but make more than $10 an hour. So I only worked 39 hours this week. Usually, I try to work about 40 hours a week. Full-time DoorDash. No other apps. And um, my paychecks have been pretty good. They've been all right. But if you guys have any tips and tricks that I could use, um, shout out to UDM. UDM, I've been watching your uh, vlogs, and I've been watching what you've been posting. Shout out to UDM. He's helped me out with a lot of great um, tips and tricks. If you guys don't know who UDM is, go over and go and check out his channel, UDM on YouTube. He's really, really intelligent and tries and help all the DoorDashers out there with whatever they're doing, not just DoorDash, Grubhub, um, Uber Eats. He's a multi-apper, so he gets he gets down on, on all of them. Um, he was saying the other day in his video, um, this has to do with schedule, actually. He was saying the other day in his video about multi-apping. Now, I'm thinking about it. If I'm going to be a multi-apper, what multi-apping is, is when there are no shifts or orders coming through on one app, you close that, ow, ow, you close that app out and you open up other app that has shifts available and orders coming through. Now he was talking about how people are having all three apps open at once and accepting orders at the same time on all three of those apps and ending up being late to some of their orders because they're trying to do three orders at once. That's not multi-apping. That's not what you should be doing. Your schedule should be set for one app. And if nothing is coming through on that app and you are not being scheduled on that app, you close that app out and you open up another app that you can make a schedule on. So that way you have a full day schedule of work. You don't want to bring the customer their order late. You don't want to overcrowd yourself, and that's exactly what you're doing. Stop multi-apping the wrong way. I don't multi-app because I don't need to multi-app. Um, people that are multi-apping are people that cannot get hours and get orders where they should be, which, by the way things are looking, I might have to start multi-apping. I was actually checking out some stuff last night for Uber Eats. Um, but yeah, DoorDash has changed their policy now to where you do not want to be late with that order or else you would be terminated. So if you're going to line up a schedule, line up a schedule with one app. Don't line up a schedule on three different apps to where you're overcrowding yourself. Um, yes, you want to try and make more money, but you want to do the right things to keep yourself in the green. You don't want to overcrowd yourself to where you end up getting terminated from one of these apps because then that's, in the long run, you're making less money. Um, so, schedule, schedule, schedule. Um, if you guys have anything else to drop down on schedule, please let me know. Um, like I said, I've been having a hard time with scheduling. I want to know what you guys think about scheduling, what you guys think uh, DoorDash is going through, if they should make more time slots open for dashers that are working full-time. Should we have first pick of hours and full-time working over people that are just doing it part-time? I think that people that are clocking in over 35 hours a week on DoorDash should no problem be able to get a full week schedule permanently set in because we are proving time and time again that that is what we are doing full time. And the way it's set up right now, there's people that are doing it part time or people that are making schedules and not even holding up to those schedules. And when time comes to come in, they actually don't even go and they don't even pull their schedule down or off so someone else can get in. So you have schedules that are open 
or you have schedules that are taken up by people that claim they were going to work that that time, but they don't even go in and work that time. So I have nothing that's open when I need to work. So scheduling, you guys, tell me what's up with scheduling. Tell me what you guys think. Um, this is Dasha J. This is all I got today. It's something short. Like I said, go stop over by the GoFundMe. Please hit that up. Um, send me your prayers. I'm trying to get everything together as much as I can. Being a grown-up is hard. You guys know how it is. Um, 28. I'm about to be 30. I'm still a youngin', but I'm trying. Keep it up. Hit me up. Dasha J. I'm out. Peace.